Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, JavaScript multiple dimension arrays will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. An array specifies a variable that can be indexed as a list in rows and columns. So therefore, multiple dimension arrays allow storing and accessing data in a table-like structure with more than one dimension. Or another way of saying it is basically there are two or more levels deep containing one or more arrays. So in this sample code here, we there's a variable called students and you use the squiggly brackets to have the index. So the first one is John underscore Doe. Then we have the name, surname, and age. And then we have Jane underscore Doe. We have the name, surname, and age as well. You can also use the square brackets. And in this example, uh, uh, for this tutorial, well, that's what we'll be doing. And this are some of the common functions for manipulating um, arrays or lists. So we'll use some of them. Uh, just remember that uh, oh, jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course web IDE will be used for this tutorial and also inspired this tutorial. As well, remember that JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. There are server-side embedded platforms to allow JavaScript to run outside a web browser. So with that, let's begin. First, I'll create a variable. I'll create an, an int array. I'll call it uh, int3d. Let's clear that and paste in that and we'll create students. I'll create all in one line. So we have I'll use uh, I'll use lowercase this time. Uh, no I'll use okay. Capital case join. That will be the index for the uh, and then we have Surname, which will be do. Do, we have the age, make you 25. And then we'll create another index, which will be Jane. This one will have a surname. Of we'll keep it do as well, and then we we'll have an age of twenty four, and we'll print this out. Students dot John dot surname. And we can also do the same for Jane. Then we'll create a 3D. Put it on one line as well. 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. Next one will be 11, 22, and 33. The last one will be then three three three. No output that. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to append we'll append a an array. So be four comma five comma six then we'll output that then we'll also this time we'll append a row at a specific a specified index indice or index. We use splice. 
And we say 7, 8, 9. What this will do is add row at index. And this one is simply just append row. Well, I guess table. Okay, then obviously we're going to print this out. And also we can also insert right at the beginning. Use unshift. Oops. So this will be insert row uh, beginning. <laughs> Begin, oops, beginning. Hope that's how you spell it. Okay, then we'll print it out. Okay, hopefully didn't make any mistakes. Express strings, I made a mistake. If I can figure this out quickly, okay, I'm hoping. Yeah, I just refreshed and it should work now. So if I go to compile, yes, here we go. So you can see Do, Jane, and these are all the numbers. Uh, we'll be done here. So you can go and see the full article at jumbo.com. I have everything you need here. There's the code snippets, the array functions we use today. We used all this push splice. You can use um, unshift. And uh, we'll talk about the learning JavaScript course here. You can get 20% off until the end of 2024. Uh, this comes with an IDE JavaScript, so you don't need to install it yourself. All you need is a web browser. If you prefer the book, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, just search for Edward or Jumbo. And then you you'll see here, just type Edward or Jumbo. There we go. Or just the links are in the description as usual. And you can grab, get the book. Uh, it's uh, free if you have Kindle Unlimited. Or you can go to jumboservices.com. This is if you prefer to have one-on-one -on -one uh, tutorials. Or jumboservices.com also provides applications and uh, custom applications or websites. Uh, as you can see, you can use uh, a direct dial anywhere in the world. Or this North American number, or you can go to the contact page, just fill in your information, we'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you.